All right, so before we go in with the makeup application, I would highly recommend using a moisturizer first to make sure your skin is really well moisturized before you put any makeup on top of it. And if you do have really, really dry skin, then I would recommend using a thicker cream kind of moisturizer at night or even those leave on overnight face masks. That way the product can really sink into your skin overnight and you'll wake up with a really smooth and moisturized surface to work on. I think that's definitely number one and the key to having that glowy radiant look to your skin and your makeup, especially for people who do have dry skin. But for moisturizer today, I'm gonna to be using my Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is a mega illuminating moisturizer. And this is kind of my little trick to achieving that super glowy radiant look to my makeup and skin. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's kind of got a light peachy pink look to it. And this stuff is super, super glowy. There's a ton of little reflective particles in it. And this is what gives your skin that instant glow. And this stuff is amazing because it is a moisturizer, so it'll keep your dry skin really hydrated throughout the day. But it'll also give you that really glowy, illuminated look. And I'll show you a couple different ways I like to wear this because you can do a few things with it. So first I'm going to apply a little bit of the moisturizer just as it is on my bare skin. You can also work it down onto your neck and your decollete, and that'll give you that really nice glow as well. I'm personally really dry around my nose right here and underneath my eyes just in this area So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on so after the moisturizer I already look a lot more glowy and that's because of all of those reflective particles in the moisturizer itself and by the way this smells like very tropical. All of the Glam Glow products that I have and love all smell really, really good. So this is the exact same. So next is foundation. And today I'm gonna to be using the Lancome Tint It All Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I'm in the shade, what shade is this? I'm in the shade 250 Bisque W, which I think is warm. And I'm just going to use one pump of this on the back of my hand, if it wants to come out. Hello? Okay, a pump and a half, I lied. Maybe a little bit more depending on the coverage that I want. And then going back to my glow starter, this is the other way that I like to use this product. I'm actually going to take a small amount of this and mix it in with my foundation that I have on the back of my hand. So I used about one pump of the foundation. I'm probably gonna take half the amount of the moisturizer and just mix it together really quickly with my finger. This will give my foundation a more glowy, luminous finish. I might need a little bit more than this, but I'm just going to dot it all over my face. And then I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to dab and blend the foundation and moisturizer mixed together evenly on my face. And already you can see that glow on my skin here and I love the look of that, but I do want a little bit more coverage. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more foundation mixed with the moisturizer again. This time I'm probably just gonna use like a tiny, tiny bit of this. And I just love that glow coming through. It looks like I'm glowing from within, which is exactly what I want it to look like. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. Today I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light because I do notice there's a little bit of redness on my face and I do want to conceal my dark circles as well. So I'm just gonna swipe that on. This is a really, really creamy, lightweight concealer. And this stuff smells like coconut. If I remember correctly, I think there is like some kind of coconut water or something in this. So this concealer is actually a little bit more hydrating, which is great for, again, dry skin. And then taking my damp beauty blender again, I'm just going to pat the concealer and blend it. I love watching people blend out their concealer. I think it's magic. It looks like a magic eraser that like just erases your dark circles and all of your imperfections. It's Crazy. So after my concealer is all blended, I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I just want to set my under eye area and where the concealer was put because I don't want it to crease or move or anything. I don't wanna have this powder all over my face because I wanna keep my like glowy, dewy look. So I'm using a tapered little fluffy brush to just pat the powder on right underneath my eyes. I know everybody loves baking right now, but like dry skin girls, yeah, baking's not the business sometimes. I actually have dry combo skin, so I do have dry areas, but like the center of my forehead or my T-zone, I get kind of oily. 
so frustrating when you have dry combo skin because you have to deal with both. And then I'm just gonna go in with a larger fluffy brush to brush the powder away. So now for contouring, I'm actually using the Maybelline Master Contour V-Shape Duo Contour Stick. And that's because I really don't wanna use any more powder products on my face. I feel like that really takes away from that like glowy look that you wanna achieve, which is why I prefer using a cream product for contouring and I'm just going to place this kind of right by my ear and draw it inward. I actually really like the way this product blends out. It's very easy to blend and this contour color is not too orangey, which is why I really like it. It's in the shade light. I'm also gonna put it right along my hairline and then taking my damp beauty blender again, I'm just going to pat and blend out this contour. I feel like I want to add a little tiny bit more really sculpt out the cheeks but with any cream product it's always better to start off with a little less because you can always add more in but if you have way too much it's just really hard to take it away this definitely wins for a drugstore contouring stick I think it works really really well so I'm just gonna quickly do the finishing touches to my eyes and then we'll move on to the rest of the face and I'm sorry the lighting keeps changing because I'm sitting in front of a window and the clouds just moved in and it got like really dim in here so please bear with me but I'm gonna move on to highlighter which is my favorite part Part. I'm using the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive today. This is a gorgeous warm golden highlight. It's so so reflective. I love it. And I'm going to take my fan brush and just run it across the highlighter and I'm just going to sweep that on top of my cheeks. This is like instant goddess powder. Take a little bit more and sweep it across this side. This is such a gorgeous highlight, I can't get over it. I also like to sweep it on the bridge of my nose here. And if I didn't mention, you can actually dab a little bit of the moisturizer on top of your skin, on top of makeup, and use it as a highlighter if you wish. There is the sun, thank you. Please move away, clouds. So now you can really see that golden glow from the Ofra highlighter. It is so pretty. But to take it even further, I'm gonna use another Ofra highlight. This is in Beverly Hills. It's got a few different shades in one. And I'm gonna use this with my Morphe M510 brush. And I'm just going to pick up these three shades right here. And I'm going to dust this right there on top of my cheeks. And of course, right on the tip of my nose. I feel like this is what really steps up your highlighting game. I'm gonna take this warm shade right here and I'm just going to put it right on my cupid's bow. I don't know why I like to place it right here, but I feel like it kind of emphasizes my lips a little bit. I'm actually gonna take this like really shimmery gold shade and I'm gonna use it as my inner corner highlight. Oh my goodness, really, really, really shimmery. Okay, that was really, really intense, but I actually kind of like it. But moving on to blush, I'm gonna be using the Coralista blush from Benefit. This is a really pretty peachy, corally colored blush, but it also is kind of shimmery, so I think it'll work really well for a glowy look. Does this one smell? No, that smells like nothing. There's one that does smell really good and everybody says it smells good, but I don't think I've experienced it. I like to run a little bit of blush, um, kind of like everywhere, I don't know. And then for my lip today, I'm using another Ofra product. I didn't realize I had so many Ofra products in this video, but this is not sponsored by them. This is their long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Pasadena. <gasps> I just stabbed it into my hand. All right, so the lips are on. I actually really like the color of this. It's like right up my alley. And the final step is the setting spray. I'm using a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This has been my go-to if you can't tell. It's like almost empty. But for some reason, I feel like this setting spray really retains the glow of my makeup a little bit better. So just spritz that all around.
you know when you have enough setting spray on when your hair is drenched. And that's pretty much it for my glowing, radiant skin tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe found a few tips and tricks to use on your dry skin. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of your products that you love if you have dry skin too. And don't forget to check me out on my Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, which are all linked down below. I'll also have all of the products that I mentioned and use in the description box as well. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.